Welcome back. After some quick explanation on some ifs, averages and count ifs, let's take a case study. Okay, in column A, I have names of clients. Column B, I have the invoice values. I have sold some goods to them and I have given them invoices. Invoice number reference also provided in column B. Column C contains the basic amount rupees. Now my objective is to find out if by any mistake, any chance, a particular invoice number has been repeated and if yes, how many times. Not only that, I would also want all the invoice numbers with duplicates to be presented in a sequential manner at the top. Now to reframe this question, I want to count how many times 4253 appears, how many times 9090 appears. So I'll be using the formula count ifs. Let me optimize the window. So let me use the formula count ifs tab key pressing control A. Okay, so my criteria one which is the cell containing the first invoice. I'm not using dollars because I would want this to move down as I copy paste the formula. Let me go to criteria's range and let me choose from the start or maybe from the next row. Shift control down. I'll be very careful that I press F4 and dollars will be used in all the part of the range. Okay, so it tells me this 4253 is appearing three times. Now had this been appearing one more time, let me just artificially copy and paste the same invoice number. It would have given you four instances of 4253. Let me press Ctrl Z. Now to get the answer for the rest, let me double click. Yep, so it gives me how many instances of a particular invoice has appeared. Just to make sure we are all correct I'm just adding a quick total using Alt equal to add the last part of the cell, enter 1617. This is just to verify whether the formula that you and I have written is correct. So 1617 which indicates we are right. So count ifs in this range look for this criteria. Same in this range which I had fixed earlier look for the next criteria which is 9090. Now the next instance is using a quick logic to put all the rogue invoices up front. So let me press Control A and by Control A I should be choosing my data till the end. Let me go to data sort. Now I'll be sorting by duplicate check first largest to smallest meaning I'll be focusing on those invoice values which has been duplicated the highest number of times that is 3, then 2, then 1. And let's say there are many invoices which may have appeared 3 number times. I would then want that those invoices should be lined up sequentially. So 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, back to back. So duplicate check first, largest to smallest, then invoice number A to Z. Okay. So you'll notice it has sorted first on duplicate check, three number of times first, then two number of times, and within three number of times, it has put all the like invoices side by side. So I can quickly analyze this further. So there you go, count ifs quite often used to calculate the duplicates. And in fact, 2007 version of Excel has come out with something even more interesting, especially for dealing with duplicate values. Let me go to the next sheet. I've taken a sample data. Let me optimize the window. Okay. Now, in this case, you'll notice the line item, which is marked in red. They are an exact replica of each other. In the next instance, the one marked in blue exact replica as long as you do not consider amount. So case one, I want to remove the exact replica from my list of data. Let me press control A. Let me go to data tab within which remove duplicates. 
if I click on remove duplicates Excel asks me which columns do I need to consider to compute the exact replica I say all of them client name should be equal doc number should be exactly equal amount should be equal as well so all three chosen if I press OK you will notice a box telling you that one duplicate has been removed the one in red so it picks up the first instance which is unique and deletes all the rest but it has not deleted the values given in blue why because amount is not equal if you wanted to delete this value as well after choosing control a and going inside remove duplicates you must have had remove this checkbox which indicates that amount should be considered so this time I am asking Excel to consider client name and document number not the amount if I press OK mm -hmm. so quick example a lot of times it also happens that you may have a list of names which may contain duplicates something like this so I'm manually copy pasting certain names now this list, list could be quite big so I can simply choose the data I can go to remove duplicates and I can say in this case the data doesn't have headers in column E whatever you find duplicate please delete that and what you're left with is unique values so that was a quick application of remove duplicates see in the next session